Every once in a while, Nvidia will release some sort of a driver that ends up affecting the performance that you've been getting on your PC, and the majority of the time, that is because you ended up installing the driver from GeForce Experience, or you just did not install that driver correctly, so I wanted to make a video on how to install an Nvidia driver the right way. That way, you do not lose any performance on your computer that you may not usually have when you're playing your PC games. I do want to say, that this is a much longer route and that is one of the benefits of using GeForce Experience is that it's very quick and easy to install the drivers but it does not uninstall all of your older settings, all of the older files for that specific graphics card driver that you ended up installing. So there is a different way that you need to do this. You are going to need to uninstall GeForce Experience. Whether you get any performance issue from other drivers in the future, I'm not sure. It does not happen all the time. But if you ever notice you're losing some performance in video games or on your PC overall after installing some sort of a driver from Nvidia, this is most likely the cause of what you ended up doing and that being that you installed the driver from geforce experience and you just need to take the route of performing a clean installation of your graphics driver i'm gonna say that all of your nvidia control panel settings will be reset to default so if you've messed around with those and you like the settings that you have and you don't want to forget about them i would recommend that you take a screenshot of what you have for your settings that way once you install this new driver after uninstalling it and performing the clean installation you can just reset all of your settings that you used to have in your nvidia control panel I am well aware that this is a much longer route than just using the GeForce experience, but if you're watching this video, I would imagine that you've been losing performance in a lot of other video games that you've been playing, and that is most likely because either Nvidia installed some update without you knowing through the GeForce program, which is why I hate using it. I would imagine a lot of you guys watching this video have turned your computer on and your monitor is like a freaking like 240p resolution and you have to shut off your computer and turn it back on in order to make it you know 1080p at whatever refresh rate your monitor is in order for it to actually display right but yeah i know that this is a really short video guys i just wanted to let you guys know how to you know install an nvidia driver the correct way if you're losing performance on your computer because that is most likely due to the fact that you installed the driver the easy way through GeForce Experience or you just did not do a custom installation to perform a clean install of that driver. If you use the Express recommended from Nvidia, you know what I mean? That's going to keep a lot of the stuff that you had already had in the older driver. Your settings will still be there and everything using the Express. But if you perform the clean installation, it will reset all of your settings. So like I said before, if you want to keep those settings or if you just don't remember and you want to remember, then take a screenshot with whatever. You, I'm pretty sure it's Windows, um, Screen Lock or whatever to take a snapshot on your keyboard or if you have like an Elgato or something or if you just want to write it down on a notepad, you can do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.